So in the last few years, I've probably added in Facebook login about a dozen times to my applications. And I'd say I'm pretty good at it. I could probably add in Facebook login in about half an hour to an hour to one of my apps now. But with Azure, you can do it in just about a minute or two. And I'm gonna show you how. So to begin with, just head into Azure, look at your app service application. I've got a simple one here, which just prints out the text, hello world. There you go, oh sorry, hello ask him it prints out. And what I want to do is when I hit this website, I just want it to basically try and log in with Facebook to begin with. Now the first thing to do when logging in with Facebook is we need to create something called a Facebook application. We actually need to go onto the Facebook side of things. So the first thing we do is we go to developers.facebook.com. But once you're there, just go in and click add a new application. Just give it a name. So I'm gonna call it uh, Azure node test give it a contact email i'm just going to put my email there and then i'm going to create the app id this is probably the most complex part of the whole process and there we're in and now that we're in here we've created our facebook application we need to add some services to it we want to add facebook login so we're going to click setup and then we'll click www and what i want to add is i want to add the url of the website that I'm gonna be, well, that I wanna add the Facebook login to. Hit save and hit continue. And then we actually don't need the rest of this stuff at all. We can just go into settings here and it's going to ask for something called an OAuth redirect. So what this will look like for your Azure application is if you take your URL again, you paste it in and then you wanna end that with, oop, end that with, just dot auth, login, Facebook, callback. Okay, so this will be the URL where it redirects to on, uh, on the login attempt. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Just hit save, that's all we need to do. Now we go to our dashboard. And what we need to do here is just to grab a copy of our app ID. So just put that somewhere, you're gonna need that later on. And then just get your app secret. Copy that somewhere, we're gonna, again, we're gonna need that later on. And so the next thing we need to do is to head back into Azure, and on the left-hand side here for our app, we can see at the bottom, we should see something called, here it is, authentication authorization. Just click on that, and then we wanna switch it on. And when somebody hits our application, I want to log in with Facebook. And you can see, we can actually, we can actually configure a bunch of other different providers here, but we wanna configure Facebook, so we just click into that. And then we just paste in our app ID and app secrets, which we got from the Facebook application. And then with Facebook, you also have to specify what scopes that you want. Now, I recommend not selecting just a lot of these because then people get scared. So just select the minimum that you need, which is probably just public profile, actually. Hit OK, and then press Save. And now all we need to do now is if you go back into your website, just hit refresh. And then it takes us to Facebook, ask us to log in as our Facebook user. I'm gonna hit say yes, I do. And then it just redirects us back to our application. And that's it. That's all you need to do to add Facebook login to your Azure application.